And now to a question that you put to all speakers. What piece of career advice would you give to the current generation of young professionals who are looking to become future foreign policy leaders? First, I would like to say that there are so many young people today that are struggling to find a job or struggling to meet others and their own expectations. I see a lot of stress, but I meet a lot of engaged, well-qualified young people who are looking for an opportunity to make a contribution. And I think you all should say to yourself every day, I am good enough, I am an important contributor to my society. Now for you that are in a pursuit of a job or a good career, I would like to say that you should follow your interest in choice of career path. And when you have a job, you should focus on doing a good job, doing a good job here and now. Even if you work hard, there is no guarantee that you will become a leader if you want to become that or have a fantastic career. But you will deliver better results and your work will be more rewarding if you put some energy into it. Show your boss that you are capable. Another key point and advice I would like to give you is that you should support your colleagues and work with the team spirit. This will help you deliver better results and achieve a better professional development. Now I pointed that you should follow your own interests. We are in need of your intelligence, of your experiences, of your competences we need them, you to engage in the Women, Peace and Security agenda. And I hope that you in your future career choices will join us and help us progress.